configured this API. So what we are going to do is we are going to call this API from this sandbox module, which is something acting as a client. Okay. So what we will do is let's do some fancy stuff, not fancy, but just uh, instead of hard coding those or let me stop. Let me just show you what I want to do here. So we'll get that. I will explain you that. So here I can write the list as DP request type. Okay, this is the request type drop down I'm creating where all those requests are there. Okay, so let's suppose let me give the request type as get people. Okay, this is something we had configured on this API also. So just creating this drop down. So from this drop down only we can select what request type we want to select and other maybe we'll just create maybe as we progress ahead with that api we'll create more but as of now we just have one so let's keep it get people only save and close okay so what we are going to do is we are going to bring this yeah anyways we have this execute module so we'll bring a button component here So we'll put it on event and we'll call this as plug execute module. Okay, on a click off button it will execute. So maybe here I will write button. Module. Execute. This is what the label I have given. Cool. So what I will do here is now we have that module also what API so our API is ready and we want to call that API. So what is that API? Right. So what nothing in Uncork API is nothing but a different module again. But if we want to call that API we want we need to use a service as execute module. So here I have mentioned that module ID as it was mentioned to pass that. Okay. So if we want more details about it. You can of course go through this service but yeah it is pretty simple to use just click on execute module i mean just select the execute module service and you can configure this module id what you want to execute and some data if you want to pass then you can use this data object and other things right so we'll see this as we go ahead i don't want to jump immediately on those so yeah now what we are going to do we need to pass the data because our api is something It will it will need a data right in the request parameter it will need a data which would be having the key as request type as we have mentioned here so how to do that so here we need to pass that particular key that we have configured in the request type so here is the request type data dot request type so here I can write data dot request type and here I will select this property ID of the drop down so why I'm selecting this so if I select uh, from in the drop down as get people then dynamically the value of this would be get people okay that's it so here this is set all those are set and let's try it out save let me preview this okay let me log in here okay so let me open this inspect so you will see so we can see that request in the network tab also how it is gone. So here I will select the request type as get people and I will click on execute. Okay, if you see this execute service got triggered and in the payload you can see request type we have passed as get people and in the preview what we have got is we have got that list of the people see. We have got this list of the people whatever we had done. So this is working fine, right guys? This is acting as API. So we have created this API, which is which we don't need to host on any server. Unlike other traditional coding languages, we can keep it like this as a module and this we can call and you will get this thing. So this is very simple API, right? We are just doing one mapping map thing where we are uh, static data. We are mapping it to the variable and that we are passing. That's it, right? But any complex operation also you can do here. You can do some bunch of logic here and do some certain logic and then send the response that is also possible so this is just a step one we can say so let's try out our other scenario where it was if we keep this as so we can't clear this let me refresh 
So if we are passing a blank uh, request type from the client, then our API should send us like please mention that request type something like that, right? So let's keep it blank and execute this. So now what we will see is yes, we got that message, right? Which is response parameter uh, in this we got this message as please mention request type cool so now next is like as we have got this response let's take the response again so yeah as we have got this response if you want to uh, display things this things on a view grid let's suppose that also you can do right so just like in the previous project we had seen we can pass all this data to a view grid to display so that operation we can do so in that case like we are like integrating these things right we have created a client api and then we are integrating and finally again displaying those things onto the front end so this end-to-end -end thing we can do with uncork so yeah i think uh, that's it for our this video so we'll see more things about it i will we'll fetch this data and we will see other stuff with it uh, but yeah that's it for this video at least uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and like this video if you have really liked this and if in case of any questions you can just uh, dm me on beast that codes which is on instagram but yeah if i would like you to comment on this video so i can directly reply back to that comments and the other people who are going to come on this course they can also see that comment right whatever the questions you guys have asked so yeah thank you for watching